Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a MATLAB project which is entitled as Grading of Diabetic Retinopathy using Deep Learning, which is an announcement from an IEEE based paper titled Image Quality Assessment Guiding Collaborative Learning of EJ Image Enhancement and Classification of Diabetic Retinopathy Grading, which is an IEEE 2023 journal paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we all know that the diabetic retinopathy is caused due to the diabetes and currently it is the leading cause of the blindness also to the adults. Also the World Health Organization identified that this is the second most serious eye disease after the disease called cataract. So this cruel diabetic retinopathy is the main cause for the permanent blindness also. So to identifying the diabetic retinopathy is one of the important feature for helping the patients and also to overcome this. So earlier in the existing system they have used image processing techniques for finding the diabetic retinopathy and also here we are going to add the new concept and also finding the grading. So what grade it is, how, how the type it is, whether it is severe, mild or moderate kinds of thing also. So in the base paper they have used image processing technique but we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper. So we are going to enhance the project with the deep learning model. So now let us see about the proposed system. So we have named the proposed system as grading of diabetic retinopathy using deep learning and this is the abstract of the project which is being implemented in MATLAB and we have used CNN model architecture. So the first question is what is the accuracy of the project. So here the, we have achieved the accuracy of 92 percentage for the diabetic retinopathy diagnosis and this has multiple stage processes so the first stage is like it will be reading the images and then pre-processing will be done so this pre-processing involves the removal of noise using the median filter and improvement of image contrast through CLAH that is contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization process and the main part that is the heart of the system is the third module where the retinal images are subjected to classification based on the severity of the diabetic retinopathy and CNN model will be using that and we will be classifying that. So here we will be classifying as grade 0, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4. So there are five grades. The so first one is no apparent retinopathy. Second one is mild. Third one is moderate. And fourth one is severe. And fifth one is proliferative diabetic retinopathy. So this grading system helps the early diagnosis and timely intervention also. So after that, we'll be using the performance analysis parameters, including accuracy, error rate, precision, recall, sensitivity, F1 score, and Matthews correlation coefficient, MCC. So these are all the performance analysis that we'll be doing it. So all the things that we are going to do that has been mentioned in the abstract part. This is the proposed abstract. And now let us see about the existing system. So existing system as mentioned, so we are going to consider the base paper as the existing system. They have used image processing technique and uh, those details are mentioned in the existing system part and these are the disadvantages of the existing system. And uh, coming to the proposed system, as mentioned, we will be using the CNN model and if you make processing, a pre-processing techniques, those details have been mentioned over here. And these are the advantage of the proposed system. And coming to the system architecture, so in the training process, we have the retinal database images where pre-processed noise removal enhancement will be done, and training using CNN is done, and generation of the train model is being saved. So in the testing process, we'll be uh, in giving the input as the retina image, and pre-processing is done, and the train model is loaded into the system, and classification is done using the CNN classifier, and it is being classified on different grades from uh, 0 to 4 and the performance analysis parameters are being shown. So these are the modules 
of the project image acquisition pre-processing dr grading and performance measure these are the module descriptions of it and coming to the system requirements we have hardware and software requirements as mentioned the coding is developed using matlab and the tool that we have used is matlab or 2021a so this is the reference of the base paper so now let us execute the project so first open the matlab or 2021 now go to the source code location so this is the source code location let me copy this from the address bar now open matlab or 2021a so let me go to the address bar and paste the location that we have copied and here you can see the project coding is being loaded in here so just select this final dot m right click it and then select run now the system is processing you can see the busy here and now you can see the gui of the project so which contains the project title grading of diabetic retinopathy using deep learning so these are the steps that is read image process pre-processing dr grading and performance analysis let me show you one by one so first thing is like read test image so just select this read test image so before selecting this let me uh, show you the data set part so in the data set folder you have the five grades as i said you zero to four so let me show you the images these are the images that is available for the training part for the grade zero so I'll show you one or two images for sample and this is the uh, image that is available on grade 1 and this is the image that is available on grade 2 this is available on grade 3 and this is the image that is available on grade 4 so these are the images that we have trained up the system so now I'm coming to the project so now let me go to the test images folder and let me go to the grade 0 let me select a random image from it so this is the image that i have selected so you can preview the image in the gui part so next part is the pre-processing part so let me show you that so just click this pre-processing so now you can see the pre-processed image with the noise removal using median filters applied to the image that we have given and image quality enhancement using CLAH is being done here. So next part is the diabetic retinopathy grading system. So just click this diabetic retinopathy grading. So now you can see the train network model is loaded and it is classifying the the input measure that we are given and it is classified as grade 0 so the diabetic retina with the grading result using CNN model for this image is grade 0 so now let me show you with the other case so now let me run it again the final dot m and click run now let me read the image let me go to the test image and let me select grade the image from grade 1 and go to the pre-processing step and you can see the pre-processed image and let me show you the dr grading part right now the train network model will be loaded into the system and it is classified as grade one and now let me show you the for the next case let me read the test image for the grade two and let me select this image let me go for the pre-processing so the pre-processed image is being displayed and let me go for the diabetic retinopathy grading part and you can see it has been classified as grade 2 and uh, let me run it again let me read the image test image and select for grade 3 and this is the test image and let me go for the pre-processing and now you can see the pre-processed image let me go for the diabetic retinopathy grading part now you can see it is being classified as grade 3 so let me run it again let me go for the te read test image and let me select grade uh, an image from gate 4 and let me go for the pre-processing and this is the pre-processed image and let me select the dr grading part and now you can see it is classified as Grateful. so in this way you can check with the images that is given in the test or the train folder anything so now let me show you from a data set so this time i have shown you few years for the test cases let me show you with the data set part anything randomly i'll select an image so now let me go for the pre-processing dr grading 
so now you can see it is classified as grade 3 so in this way you can check with the other images that is given in the both test or tried folder so I, uh, if I'm going to show you all the images, it takes more time. The length of the video will be more. So let me move to the next part. That is the performance analysis part. So just click this performance analysis. And kindly wait. So the calculation will be going on in the backend process. So kindly wait till you see this completed message. So till that you need to wait and if you see this completed message, the process is completed. So just click OK. So in the console, you can see the calculation that is made. Now let me show you one by one. So now you can see in the figure one, that is diabetic retinopathy grading result with the printed score. So we have, it is showing with the images of the grade with the printed score. What is the printed score? So here you can see an image with grade four grade 4 with 99 percentage grade 3 with 98.5 uh, percentage grade 0 with uh, 100 percentage grade 0 69.5 it is classified for grade 0 as 6 uh, 84.1 percentage so in this way few images have been shown because if you wanted to zoom in or zoom out you have some options here based on that you can just uh, zoom in and check out zoom out kinds of things operations can be done here so these are a few options given over here and coming to the next part that is the confusion matrix so here you can see the confusion matrix uh, of the project which has the uh, true and printed label with the classes of grade 0 grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 and here you can see in case if you wanted to save this result you can just save as images go to file and click save as and let me save it in the desktop as a jpeg file or any file that you format you wanted let me save the cf and save it and uh, next comes the performance analysis part so in the performance analysis part you can see the performance analysis the parameters like accuracy error precision specificity sensitivity f1 score and mcc so all these formulas you can find here so here you can see the formula for calculating this accuracy error rate precision recall specificity of measure value details so here you can see all the details so accuracy of this project is 0.9200 error is 0 0.0800 precision is 0 0.9230 0 specificity is 0 0.9797 sensitivity is 0 0.9163 f1 score is 0 0.9183 mcc value 0 0.8991 and in case if you wanted to save this as image also you can just save this in a desktop as the performance analysis pa so here you can see the image that we have saved this is for the confusion matrix and this is for the performance analysis part so let me close this so in this way you can just check the diabetic retinopathy grading system using deep learning and this is all about the project that grading of diabetic retinopathy using deep learning using MATLAB and thank you for watching.